So we need to go straight. <laughs> sa Book of Revelation, we are doing the series. Ito yung tinatawag natin seven churches. And basically, when you talk about the seven churches, and particularly when you talk about the Book of Revelation, it's something that many people are quite afraid of. For a simple reason, uh, it's been taught uh, totally different from uh, how it should be taught, in other words. So, dipping that up in, in a way, that's why, just like what I said uh, a month ago, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the book of Revelation is something that really encompasses Jesus Christ, in other words. Kaya lang sabi dyan, the revelation of Jesus Christ. So, marami kasi nag interpret sa book of Revelation na parang nawawala si, si Christo. For example, pag-uusapan ng book of Revelation, we talk about rapture, we talk about tribulations, we talk about, of course, nando naman in a way, yung mga thoughts na yun, pero mas kailangan pag-aralan siya ng mas malalim. But on the other side of the coin, if I may say, whenever we study a book, we always try to find Jesus Christ. Pag hindi mo nakita si Jesus Christ sa uh, birth, sa passage, pag hindi mo siya nakita sa birth, may prinsipyo kasi sa hermeneutics or sa Bible inter- interpretation na tawag eh. Until you see Jesus Christ continue reading, nakukuha natin. If you don't see Jesus Christ in a particular verse, you might need to read few more verses. Pag hindi mo pa rin nakita si Jesus Christ in five verses, in six verses, maybe you need to read the whole chapter. Pag hindi mo pa rin nakita si Jesus Christ, in a way, sa isang chapter na yun, maybe you need to really understand the purpose of the book, or the entire book. Why? Because at the end of the day, it will always be about Jesus Christ. If you miss Jesus Christ, you miss the scripture. Kaya nga ang sabi niya, di ba, you, you are searching the scripture, but in reality, it talks about me. All that is written in the scripture it is about me. So in other words, when you study the scripture, you always find, you always try to look to the person, loveliness, finished work of Jesus Christ. If you miss that, ulitin ko, he miss all. Okay? Kaya na doon ganda ng interpretation mo sa isang scripture, kahit ano bang doctrinal stand ang um, makita mo kahit ano bang leadership principle ang makita mo sa scripture if you miss Jesus Christ you simply miss it you learn something but you don't get the revelation marami talagang tao natututo sa scripture hindi naman natin maaalis yun eh for example uh, may tinulad ng leadership book ni Bada Lumok ni Kalmaria it's a wonderful book I know particularly the person uh, Glenn Chonsa di Ronda then uh, John Maxwell he's getting a lot of principles kung pinag-uusapan ng uh, ang leadership sa scripture na ang gagaling naman talaga. Tama? Yes. Ang ibig sabihin, you can really learn a lot of principles in the scripture. Ayun kasi yung pagkakamali ng maraming mga grace preachers. In other words, kaya nang mimisinterpret eh. Bakit? Ah, pag nagbigay sila ng principle of leadership na galing the scripture, ay hindi. Si Jesus Christ ang pinuturo ng scripture. Pareho ang tama na nakakuha natin. You learn a lot of principles, leadership, family, relationship, ano pa ba? Uh, such things, name it. Patutunan mo sa scripture yan, right? But if you don't see Jesus Christ, you simply learn. But you did not receive a revelation that can transform life. Yes. Na- nakukuha natin. And the scripture is not only there for us to learn, because we can also learn from other books. Uh, I read a lot of books and I learn from them. But they don't get revelation. The scripture, you see Jesus Christ, you got it. There's revelation, right? And learning is simply learning. Ang sabi nga ng, 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 ng Bible, di ba? Knowledge pops up. Pag hindi mo naingatan ng learning, pwede ka magyabang. Pag yung kausap mo, mas marami kang nabasa, sasabihin mo, wow, yan lang ang alam mo. Pero pag yung nakausap mo, mas marami nabasa sa'yo, wow, wala nang alam ko. Na, nakukuha natin. And it becomes a cycle. So in other words, totoo na marami tayong natututunan sa scriptures na mga principles, mga systems, steps, and we don't really say na wala bilang na grace preacher because it's true. We learn a lot of things. For example, if you want to learn principles on leadership, really read the book of Nehemiah. 
we want to learn a lot of things about relationship, then read the book of the Song of Songs. So those principles are true, but I would rather learn and receive yes. something. It's, it's always better to receive a revelation and learn from that instead of simply learning. Because the scripture is not just an ordinary book. It's the word of God. Right? The written word of God. So, the book of Revelation is like that. Pwede kang matuto about the last days. Pwede kang matuto about the trumpets, about those kind of things. Hindi ba? But, look for Jesus Christ at the end of the day. Right? So, tuloy natin. Sige, tuloy natin. Uh, sabi niya, the revelation of Jesus Christ. Sabi nga natin lahat, the revelation of Jesus Christ. So, it's all about Jesus, right? It's all about Jesus. Which God gave unto him. So, it was not a revelation about the Apostle John or what, what John has learned or what John has received. No, it's the revelation of Jesus Christ. Given to whom? Given to Jesus Christ. To show unto his servants things which must uh, shortly come to pass. Kaya nga sabi nila, yung mga nakasulat daw sa Revelation, makakakita ka ng mga, mga ibang mga posts, mga ganito ganyan, uh, mga preachers na mapapakinggan mo, ang tinutukoy daw dito yung ngayon. Pero yung sinulat ni John yan, ang sabi dyan, which must shortly come to pass. Ang ibig sabihin, malapit ang mangyari. Yung sinusulat ni John, right? 2,000 years, hindi malapit yun. If John wrote Revelation AD 96, sabi ng iba, if you wrote Genera uh, Revelation AD 65, uh, kung year 2016 na ngayon, parang nagbibiru naman si John kung sinabi niyang the book of Revelation uh, which must shortly come to pass. Sabi nga nila, shortly. shortly. Nakakita na kayo ng shorts. May kili yun, di ba? Yes. Yun lang yun. Okay. <laughs> and he said, and signified it by his angel unto his servant, John. Okay, let's continue on. Tuloy mula. Jesus in every book of the scripture. And I really love it. For example, in the book of Genesis, the seed of the woman. Book of, of Exodus is the Passover love, right? Uh, so book of uh, Joshua is the great captain. But when uh, uh, what the book of Hosea is our uh, loving husband. But when the book of Psalm is our song. Jesus Christ is, is our song. Uh, ano pa ba? Pag pinag-usapan ang, uh, mention nga kayo ng libro, uh, Tobit. <laughs> hindi ko alam, hindi ko alam kung sino sa to <laughs> so, Tobit, di ba? Uh, pag pinag-usapan ang book, sa Gospel, sa Matthew, is the king, right? Pag pinag-usapan ng Luke, is, is, a, is, a, is a servant. Uh, ano, so Mark, is a servant. Luke, is, is a man. Then John, of course, is God. So, normally, pag, pag, pag pinag-usapan ang, ang scripture, it, it, it always points to Jesus Christ. So, pag pinag-aralan natin ng seven churches in the book of Revelation, we are not simply getting principles, even though we will get a lot of principles. Right? But we will get and look Jesus in each of the churches. Ayun yung gagawin natin. Ready kayo? Yes. Right? Excited kayo? Yes. Tignan yung mukha ng katabi nyo kung excited yes. or exhausted. Or what, 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 how does it look? I don't know. Okay, just look at it and smile and just say, I love you. Okay. So, tuloy natin. Tuloy natin. The seven churches of Asia in the book of Revelation. Ah, uh, na lang. Next time na lang. Tuloy mo. Okay, seven churches. Church of Ephesus, Church of Smyrna, Church of Pergamos, Theatira, Sardis, Philadelphia, and... Odyssea. Okay, ulitin natin na. Seven churches yan. Before AD 63, actually nine churches yan. The Church of Antioch, tsaka Damascus. So, ayun yung, yung, yung churches. Kaya nagkaroon ng earthquake sa Pompeii. I think it's what August 5, na nagkaroon ng, ng, ano, ng, ng earthquake sa Pompeii. Nasira yung dalawang city. So, when, when, when John was in Patmos, there was only seven left sa mga churches. Kaya ang sabi ng mga futurists, in other words, ah, hindi. Ah, hindi sinulat ng 1865 ang Book of Revelation. Bakit? Kasi dapat, dapat nine churches. And they didn't realize the history. 
the two cities were destroyed and churches in those cities that were destroyed were also, of course, destroyed. Kaya lang natin na seven churches. So, bakit seven? Simple lang naman eh. Because seven is the perfect number. Right? Pwede namang lima, number of grace. Pwede namang anim, number of men. Pwede namang eight, number of new beginning. But when God gives numbers, when Jesus gives numbers, it will always have a powerful significance. You know why? Not nine. Bakit kailangan mas yung ride dalawa? Simple lang. Because He looks His church as perfect. Right? Whenever God looks at you, He looks perfection. Whether you like it or not. Whether you feel perfect or not, you are. Right? Tignan nyo yung katabi nyo mo ang perfect. Ang mukhang pa-opek. Parang mukhang palpak pa, di ba? Oh, perfect. Okay? So, tignan natin. Ano na yung problema ng Church of Ephesus? So, so tignan natin yung mga problems and solution then ano yung, ano yung meron sila in order for them to really realize their identity. Okay. Ang Ephesus, of course, uh, loveless. Ano yung problema nila? Sila yung church na magaling. Ayun, pag-aaralan natin mamaya. Sila yung church na magaling. May pera. Mayaman. Pero, walang pag-ibig. So, ano solusyon? Siyempre, love. Alagin mo yung less. <laughs> Nagila na yung love, nagitan yung less. Parang, parang sabi ng isang, sabi ng isang, uh, sur, sabi ng, yeah, meron isang survivors doon. Meron isang survivors. One survivors now. So, I mean, what can we guess? Bakit? O sige, may isang survivors. <laughs> Yan, is yes, yes, uh, una nang tinanggal. Okay, of course, ang solusyon doon lang. Of course, si Marina. <laughs> <laughs> losing church. It's a losing church. So, but, but losing church, uh, sila, yung, sila yung church na pili nila parang, parang ang buhay ano, laging hopeless. Dungan lang kayo dyan. Daan lang, ha? Yes. Wag na mag-stay. Wag na, journey is a journey, right? So, wag, wag na tumahambay, di ba? Uh, yes. <laughs> ang ganun ngayon niya. Pa, ano, ano ka pa dyan, no? Sarap-sarap dito, pero yan lang iyak. Kailan lang iyak, sarap magpag-iyak. Di ba? The point of the matter. So, pag losing church, anong solution doon? They need to understand what the leading of the Holy Spirit. Dito sa church na ito, mapapansin ninyo, dyan lang pinanggit, out of the seven churches, yung salitang Alpha and Omega. Nakukuha natin? Dyan lang namabas yun eh. Sa so, ibang churches, hindi, hindi pinakita. Kasi normally, pag ikaw, you feel defeated, right? Have you ever felt defeated? Of course, it's a feeling. And feeling is very inconsistent. Sometimes you feel good. Sometimes you feel good. And sometimes you feel good. Yes. Yes. In other words, right? Good there and good this. Kung meron yes. lang yung salita. Right? So, but here, pinapakita niya ni, 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 ni Apostle John, of course, Jesus Christ, Apostle John, if you are experiencing that kind of emotion, always remember, Jesus is the final word. Yes. Pag sinabi ng doktor na meron kang cancer, so what? Ikaw ba ang final word? Hindi. Tama? Yes. Pag sinabi ng, ng, ng finances mo na wala ka ng pera, so what? Bukas meron na. Man. Why? He is the final word, not my situation. Yes. Not your circumstances. And the church of the Spirit that they were experiencing that. Meaning, pinata yung pastor nila, si Polycarp. Sino kayo mauna? Sino kayo mauna? Sino kayo mauna? Sino kayo mauna? Kailangan sa bayo. Tinanong ako ng wife ko eh. Ah, uh, pag naman na ba ako mag-aasawa ko ulit? Sabi ko, ipag-pray mong huwag akong ma- huwag kang ako na. Yun lang, yun lang sabi ko. <laughs> yun lang. Hindi ko lang i-explain. Hindi mo mang kailangan ng explanation. Pergamos! Pergamos! Last church. Ito naman yung church na okay na sila eh. May mga ganyan church eh. Yung okay na sila, taas na ng tithes and offering. Yung pastor sikat na. 
Tapos, uh, yung worship team, ang gitarista labing lima. Yung drummer lima. Bangista ani, worship leader isa. <laughs> sila, yung, sila yung church na ganyan, eh, parang wala na silang kailangan. But, they, they, they forgot na church is not about program. Church is about people. Hello? Yes. Para, parang kanina, tinanong nga ako ni pastor, eh, wow, pastor. Nandala, nandala, nandala. Kasi, of course, nag-anap kami ng, 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 ng venue for the Youth Congress. Yung, at least, binigay nilang venue, oh, baka nandiyan, baka pasunod pa rin. Hindi ko to my heart yung type. Yung, yung, yung venue. But, you know, in my heart kasi, they are my leaders. Sabi nila, mas gusto nila ganito, mas malapit sa kanila. So, even though, hindi ko masyadong type, but, because I love them, right? Tinay ko na lang, sabi ko, type! <laughs> Hello. So in the end, it's not about program. Eh. It's about letting them feel yes. that ministry is all about people. Yeah. Na nakuha natin. Pwede ka magkaroon ng sobrang daming program, pero sila sila rin ang gumipilos. It's still a small church. Nakuha natin. Pwede nga members mo 50, 70, 100, pero ang kumigilos, mas marami pa sa mega church. That church is bigger. Na, nakukuha natin. Yes. Because we define uh, mega church in numbers. But no, it's always the quality. Are we getting the point? And that's what happened to the, the church, church of Pergamos. They became lots. Why? Because they have what wonderful numbers of people. But they did not understand the word leverage. Yes. Nakukuha na natin. Leverage is, is to, 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 to put something into maximum use. Yeah. Right? Parang isang leader ko sabi sa akin yung sa, yung sa, sa, yung, sa yung leads yan. Sabi niya sa akin, uh, hindi kasi pastor tawag sa akin yun eh. Basta pastor tawag niya sa akin, uh, pili tayo ng ano, pili tayo ng Mac. Uh, na, na, na computer kasi siyempre ginagamit ko ma eh kami bili lang nila ng ano na ano bang computer gano'n? Ito maganda yun eh, mahal yun eh one five yun eh dollars dollars, sorry dollars <laughs> 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 so, so pwedeng pwede tayo ng map kasi yung proper center I really like that pero of course you teach your people ang sabi sa nila sa nila lang hindi nyo pa nababaximize yung ano meron tayo gusto nyo na ng bago Na, na, nakukuha natin. It's not about having brand new things, eh. It's about maximizing what you have. Yes. Di ba si Martin Regus nga? Uh, bulag siya. Narinig niya, dumaan si Jesus, ano ginamit niya? Bengi niya. Sumigaw siya, ano ginamit niya? Bipit niya. Tumayo siya, ano ginamit niya? Paan niya? Tinanggal niya yung, yung symbol ng, 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 ng uh, blindness and being a beggar, ano ginamit niya? Kamay niya. So meaning, he maximize what he possess. Yes. In order for him to get what he does not possess. And that's leadership. Yes. Nakukuha na, na, natin? You yes. don't get something. Why? Because parang ang ganda. You get that thing, not praying, Lord, sana may ganito, sana pagkagising ko, may, may tender na gitar na sa harapan ko, na Stratocaster, di ba? Dapat sana pagkagising ko, yung drums ko, hindi na siya 6 pieces, ano na siya, uh, 35 pieces na siya. Yung pag nag-drums ako, tumatakbo, magpunta ng simbas. May mama, <laughs> drums, di ba? So meaning, you don't, you don't really ask God, what do you have? Or what God has given you and use that in order for you to get what you don't have? And that's grace. Yes. Why? Because what you have is a gift of God. Yes. And when you use the gift of God, He rewards you with something more. Yes. And that's grace. Yes. And that's the church of Pergamos. <coughs> Chiatira. At Chiatira naman, sila yung liberated church. Ito yung pag nag-church, naka two piece. Pangalan pa lang. Pangit na yun. Chiatira. Ha? 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 Ha?
<laughs> Pag natayo ka ng Church of Chiachira, <laughs> ang qualification lang dito dapat magaganda lahat. <laughs> okay. Oh, mga naman yung iniisip niya. Pero ito ko yan. Ang tatao yan. Nawala na tuloy yan. Chiachira! <laughs> Liberated Church! Ito yung, ito yung church na lahat pwede. Right? Ito yung church na as in. Name it. Okay lang yan. Liberated tayo in grace. And it became grace. The greasy grace. Ang sabi nga nila, uh, Dr. Brown. Come on. Liberated church. So, okay sila. Ang problema ay wala na silang nawiwin. Kasi wala naman difference. Eh, yung mga wala sa church, ganyan mamuhay. Tapos yung nasa church, ganyan din mamuhay. So, what's the difference? Na Nakukuha natin? Ayun ang church of Chiatira. Yung mga nasa labas, tumitira. Sila rin. Tinagtira. So, what's the difference? So, sabi, sabi, what's up, right? Ano solution? Ano yung solution sa church of Chiatira? Lifestyle. Kaya mahalaga pa rin yung lifestyle. Dapat yung life natin, Yes. Hindi pwedeng bara-bara lang. Amen. Right? Ay, katanggap ka na naman. Di ba pala kasi ka talaga? <laughs> Dapat ang life ay style. O sa akin kaya pag walang style? Nakakawuhan ninyo? For example, nakakita na kayo ng, ano, ng, ng basketball player pag tumira sa frequency pag gano'n. <laughs> ano ba yun? Walang ka-style is style. Sino sa inyo inabot niyo yung mga player pa sa PBA may English yes. word? Inabot niyo pa po yun? Hindi. Talaga pa sa atin. Dapat help them God. No? Then. Dapat ito ka ba yun talaga? Basta ko? Dapat ito talaga? Inabot lang ko kasi. Alam niyo, si Kata, si Jason P. Wow! Tsaka si Vince Carter. Ay, 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 ay. Inabutan ko. Tsaka si Abdul Jabbar. Sino yun? No! <laughs> so, lifestyle, napakahalaga. Kaya nga pagpag-uusapan ng church, yes, we are free to do everything. Right? Pero kung may mau-open, huwag mong gawin. Gawin mo mag-isa kung gusto mo. Tama? Eh kung na-open yung katabi mo pag nasa loob ka ng church, si COC ka, huwag mong gawin. Diba? Eh, hindi ka sa bahay ka mag COC. COC na huwag hindi ko. Whatever. Whatever. Sa totoo lang, ewan ko kung gano'ng harang yung tatanggapin doon ha. Pag, pag ikaw talaga believer ka, you can do everything you want. Yes. Honestly. Yes. May effect pa ba kay Lord John? Wala. Sa totoo lang. Pero may effect ba sa tao yun? Meron. Right? Yes ay yun ang naging problema ng Church of Yatira. Eh, we are saved by grace. So everything is permissible. Sabi ni Paul, no, but not everything is beneficial. Right? So sabi mo sa atin mo, yung life mo dapat may style. May style. Really? Yes. Okay, Sardis. Ito naman yung Church of Sardis, sila yung mahilig kumain ng stock. Oh, sabi na! Lifeless church! Tagal naman mga guests, no? Nagbabaw-pair. Lifeless church! Sila yung church na pagpinasok mo, parang... Walang buhay. Sila yung church na pagkapasok mo, masaya mo ba kayo? Sila yung ganun church. Sila yung church na palakpangon tayo, ay huwag na lang. Ganon. Ganda po tayo ng worship song. Ay, wag na lang. Nakatamad. May church sign na tinanda kong ganyan. Eh. Yung ano siya, parang si Fer. Parang gigitara siya. Tapos may, may mic siya. Tapos papakanta siya. Yung mga nasa audience niya, mga nakatayo lang. Tapos, tapos tinigil sabi ka, ay, ayun naman kumanta. Tara, word na lang tayo. <laughs> sabi ko, ayos. Kagaling. Totoo yun. Hindi ako nagdi-joke. <laughs> lightless church. So pag lightless ang church, ano ang solusyon? Yes. Joke life. life. Dapat ang church may buhay. Yes. Yes. Na, 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 na
hindi ko naman hindi explain yan, pero isa yun sa pinakamagandang pag-aralan na church sa seven churches. Paano mo masisigurado sa biyaya ng Panginoon that life is felt during the meeting, life is felt during the worship, life is felt during the lecture, during the word. Uh, wag kang papayag na may dull moment sa church. Mm. Pati mga transitions, pati yung mga, yung mga alam niyo na yan, next time na yan, Philadelphia. Ang Church of Philadelphia, sila yung maliit na church. Sila yung church na pagkatapos ng worship leader, siya naman yung uupo. Tapos yung pastor naman naman pre-preach. Sila yung papakalit-pakalit lang <laughs> na, na, na church. Uh, ganun, yung, ano, ganun yung Church of, of Philadelphia. Kaya na ang baba ng kanilang self-confidence. Yung tingin nila sa sarili nila parang parang wala naman tayo pag-ama sa iba. Na, 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 naramdaman nyo na yan? Ginsan sa buhay nyo? Ako lagi ko naramdaman yan. Kasi parang mas magaling ng iba. Ginsan. What I'm saying is no, I don't know. Siguro I grew up in a in a, in a family that, that that my father really loves me before he died. He died when I was 17. Pero yung pinakatakasan ko, medyo may kaya yung yung pamilya namin. Uh, we had uh, we had good uh, beautiful house, uh, wonderful cars uh, during those times. Pag nagpabili ako ng, ng rubber shoes, pag nagpabili ako ng rubber shoes, then my father bought me, uh, then ito ganyan. Uh, elementary pa lang ako, baon ko, 100, you know, mga ganun. Oo, oh, 100 won. <laughs> Korean money, no? And to me, I grew up that way. Kaya nga yung namatay si daddy, namatay yung tatay ko, it was so devastating for me. Uh, may hirap kasi dependent ako eh. In a way, ah, in a way, pagdating sa finances. Kasi nga, kaya nga, feeling ko dati, pag, pag gumano ng kamay ko, may pera eh. And I learned in a hard way, hindi, hindi rin madali eh, na, na, na nakukuha natin. It takes hard work. But your being hard working takes strength and strength comes from God. Piyaya pa rin yun. So yung little church, ang pinaka-solution dito is what? Bigyan mo na yung solution, Brad. Yeah, lingering. Pwede well, just stay there. Don't give up. Right? Of course, Church of Laodicea. Ito yung marami. Low form. Ito yung nagtuturo ng grace kasi nagtuturo din ng law. Ito yung nagtuturo na mahal ka ni Lord pero minsan hindi. Ito yung nagtuturo na pinatawad ni Lord yung kasalanan mo pero yung iba hindi. Ito yung nagtuturo na church na ano, uh, si Lord namatay sa'yo pero dapat mamatay ka rin para sa kanya. Ito yung nagbigay ng buhay si Lord sa'yo, kaya pag hindi mo binigay buhay ko, hindi ka lang ni Lord. Ito yung Church of Laodicea. So, ano ang pinaka-solution niya? Of course, yun nila. Look warm to the egg. Or the point of the matter, they need to be loyal to the gospel. Nakukuha natin. So, pag i-design sa natin yan, Church of Ephesus, tuloy ko lang, is about passion. Sabi so, mo yan yung lahat, passion. Hindi ito yung mahal na araw, ha? Okay. Ang Church of Smyrna is all about what? Presence. Pag ang church may passion for the discipleship, winning the laws, passion to worship God, passion to live. Oh, I tell you, it's amazing. And secondly, mahal na sa kanila yung presence si Lord. Right? Hindi lang yung program. Then in Church of Pergamos, pinag-uusapan yung purpose. Uh, okay na sa amin to. Pergamos. Lots. So they need to understand. We are here for a purpose. In Church of uh, Teatira, sila yung perfectful. Meaning, kailangan dire-direcho. Kailangan yung kailangan consistent ka. Kung ano yung sinasabi mo, kung ano yung tinuturo mo, in a way, dapat, nakikita sa'yo. Right? Without holiness, no one will see the Lord. 
Hindi sinabi doon na pag wala kang holiness, hindi mo makikita si Lord. Ang sabi doon, without holiness, no one. Pag hindi ka nabubuhay ng merong kabanalan, walang maniniwala na merong Diyos. Hindi ikaw ang tinutukoy doon, right? Yung ibang tao. Okay, Sardis. Power. A light bed. You need power, right? Of course, uh, Philadelphia, uh, perseverance. Uh, kahit maliit, just, just ensure it. By the grace of God, you can do it, right? Of course, Laodicea is all about purity. A pure gospel, in, in other words. So, pag-aralan natin ngayon, introduction nyo by the way. Yes. Okay na sa inyo? Yes. Anong oras na ba? 8.22. Anong oras tayo matatapos? 8.30. So, I have 8 minutes. <laughs> church, of, church of Ephesus. The Church of Ephesus. Church of Ephesus, the longest church. So, say natin, Revelation chapter 2, ayun yung Church of Ephesus. To the angel of the Church of Ephesus write, This thing says who holds the seven stars in his right hand, who walks in the midst of the seven golden lumps. Tansa pa nyo puro seven. Puro seven. I know your works, your labor, your patience. Pag ikaw, low-oriented ka na pastor, Masaya ka na sa Church of Ephesus. Bakit? Ay grabe ang sipag. Ay grabe nagpapagal. Ay grabe pasensyoso. Nagtitiis. In other words. So if you are a low-oriented pastor, the Church of Ephesus is perfect for you. But the point of the matter is, if it's a loveless congregation, you will always feel and come to the point that you will be emotionally drained. Kasi ang pinakakailangan ng isang tao sa mundong ito ay yung salitang pag-ibig. Kina yung niwala? Amen. Kina sa inyo na yung love na? Kina sa inyo yung in-love pa rin ito ngayon? Yes, kay Lord. Kina sa inyo yung gusto yung ma-in-love kasi hindi nyo mararanas ang ma-in-love. Okay. And that you can admire those who are evil. Sila yung mga, yung mga pag may nakatabing, Ay! Yung masalong! Yung masalong! Bakit? Ang ikli ng short mo. Buti kung maganda na legs mo. Ay! Yung masalong! Bakit? Ganito ganyan. Sila yung mga, yung mga, they, they define evil as, 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 as elokes. Pero the word evil come from the word poneiros. Ang ibig sabihin ng poneiros is labor. That's the civil. Uh, of course, we don't have time to discuss that. But it's not being so even the sa, the, the, sa, ano, sa Lord's Prayer. The word the evil don't put the heroes and get out of it don't. So the definition of it, when you're being evil, na kalat natin spirito, right? When you're being evil, ah, yun yung ano yung may patak na itim. Ayan yung ayan yung ganito ganyan. Ayan yung bumubulong sa yun. Uh, hindi evil pa rin. Ano yun? Uh, imaginasyon. Sa totoo lang, uh, I don't know how you would really accept this, uh, but there's no such thing as overpowering evil spirit if you understand your identity. If you don't understand your identity, it's actually your emotions that deceive you and your mentality. And when you are mentally and emotionally the same, Ang akala mo, na-overcome ka ng bad spirit. Pero sa totoo lang, it's all in the mind. May evil spirit ba o naman? Meron, tingnan mo yung katabi mo. Wala siya niyan, wala siya niyan. Okay? <laughs> May evil spirit ba? That's right, of course, meron. Meron, he deceives. He deceives. Pag hindi ka nadideceive ng, ng, ng evil spirit, wala, hindi kanya kaya. Hindi kanya kaya sa kupe, hindi kanya kaya i-post. Parang parang may natatanong sa akin, Pastor, ang mga believer ba na po-possess o na-demonize? Mga ganang question eh. Sagot ko, lahatin mo na. Basta hindi ka strong and established sa identity mo, sa itong siyong work. Hindi why? Because he, he goes in, in the inside of you. No, he deceives your mind. He wants you to think 
that you can be overpowered by him. He's like a roaring lion. He roars. But a toothless lion. Yes. Ang ko yata gating ka ng ng aso walang hipin. Sabo po, sabo. Hindi ka mo na nasusuka ang nakakadiri lang po lakay. Ganun ang deception eh. Ganun ang, ganun ang demonyo eh. Hindi ka na talaga kanya kayang ano eh. Saktan sa totoo lang. Sinasaktan mo sarili mo. Kadiri. You, you, you sometimes blame Satan but in reality it's your mind that brought you there. Are we getting the point? And, sabi yan, and you have tested those unveiled, no? <laughs> Bilis ni Chop, eh. And you have tested those who say they are apostle and are not. Malupit, no? Takalino, no? Ito ang Church of Ephesus. And have found them liars. Ang bangsik nito. Verse 3. Uh, Tignan muna natin. Tuloy mo lang. 1 Corinthians 13, 13. Ang sabi doon, And now abide faith, hope, love, this three, but the greatest of this is? Balikan muna natin sa taas. Sabi niyan, works, labor, and patience, right? Sabi sa 1 Corinthians 13, 13, yung, yung binasa natin, This three abides. Teka, okay lang. Tuloy mo lang. Kamaya. Yeah. Faith, hope, love. So sabi nila, masama daw yung work, masama daw yung labor, masama daw yung patience. Ayun yung mga grace policies. May dalawang klaseng camp kasi eh. May grace policies, may law policies. Yung mga law policies, pag narinig nila isang tang effortless, nagtataasan yung mga balagibo. Hindi pwedeng walang effort. Yung mga grace policies naman, pag nakarinig naman ng effort, hindi. Sa grace, wala nang effort. So ano ang tama? Bahala sila sa buhay nila. Bahala nila pareho yun. Right? Kaya ang sabi sa, sa 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, uh, verse 3, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. 1 Thessalonians 1, 3, sabi dyan, Remembering without ceasing your work. Mahalaga ang work, right? But it must be a work of pain. It's not a work of your flesh. It's not about labor, but it's a labor of love. It's not about having patience, but it's a patience of hope. So meaning there's nothing wrong to labor as long you are laboring in love. There's nothing wrong to work as long as you are working in faith. And there's nothing wrong to have patience as long as you are having patience of hope. Ang problema ng Church of Ephesus, they work, they labor, they have patience, right? But it's not work of faith. They work because they thought when they work, God will bless them. They labor and they thought when they labor, God would love them. And they have patience, but they thought if they have patience, God will pour out riches to them, which is wrong. That's a law-oriented principle. Ayun ang naging problema ng Church of Ephesus. Work, work, ano siya, hard-working church, in other words. They labor. They do a lot of things. But faith, love, and hope wasn't there. Right? Tuloy natin. And sabi sa verse 4, of verse 3, And you have persevered and have patience and have labored for my name's sake and have not become weary. Naku, sasabihin ko sa'yo, pag ulo or yet, yung pastor talaga, matutuwa ka sa church na to. Kailangan hindi kasi yun ang perception ni Lord. Eh. Di ba? Si Abraham, ilan ang anak niya? Si Isaac, tsaka si Sino? Ishmael? Pero yung kausap siya ni, ni, ng, ng, ng Panginoon sa Genesis 22, ano sabi sa kanya? I want you to offer your son, your one and only son. God does not recognize Ishmael. May fruit ba? Meron, di ba? For example, pumunta mo ng US. Stay mo ng US ng one year. One year. Then, tumalog ako sa wife ko kay Rosette. 
while you're naman nasa US. Tapos pinalita sa akin ng wife ko, meron akong good news sa'yo, mahal. Ano yun? I'm one month pregnant. Tapos pinagpila na ako, sa dali, one year na ako dito eh. Sino matuto? Kasi tingin niyo matuto ako. Hindi, yes. bakit? Hindi ko fruits yun. May fruits, pero hindi sa akin. And same way, may fruits ba talaga pag nasa luma? The answer is, yes. But does God recognize that? Men recognize that. People see that. But does God recognize and see it? The answer is no. The only thing God sees is when you, when you labor out of love. The only thing that God sees is when you work out of faith. Nakuha natin? Kaya kahit anong pagpapagod mo, pero hindi mo ginagawa ng galing sa puso, God does not recognize that. Kahit piwais ang kapan ng dugo, kahit yung dugo mo kulay violet o green, kahit anong gawin mo, if it's not out of love, nagpapagod ka na. Tama? Tuloy natin. Sabi sa verse 4, Ito, sikat na sikat itong verse ito, right? Ang dami rating. Ang dami umiyak dyan. Tsaka na kondem. No, sabi yan, Nevertheless, I have this against you. That you have left your first love. Oh, I was preaching that when I was still young. Three days ago. I'm still young right now and I would be forever young. Yeah. Pag nag-40 ako, mag-stop na ako mag-birthday. <laughs> Wala na, papatanggal ko na October. Okay. So, nevertheless, ang sabi niya, I have this against you, that you have left your first love. First love. So, we define this. Naku, Ryan, iniwanan mo na sa Lord. Pinalimutan mo na ang pagmamahal mo kay Lord. Pinagpalit mo na siya. I will define this verse that way. It is wrong. Because in reality, ang dami na yung nasa church ang sisipag pero wala na yung love. Trabaho na lang. Diba? Meron nga daw, diba, isang, yung, yung anak, sabi ng nanay sa kanya, mag-bees ka na 9 o'clock na, 9.30 service natin. Sabi niya, ayoko, ayoko, ayoko mag church. Pagbalik ko, dapat base ka na. Tapos sabi niya, Pag, bumalik na mo, hindi ka pag-bihes ha. Tumayo ka na dyan. Kailangan mo ito sa church. Sabi niya sa nanay niya, Nay, bigyan mo ko ng isang dahilan. Bakit kailangan ko mag-church? Sabi ng nanay, ikaw yung pastor. <laughs> Walang mag-preach. Hindi <laughs> ba? <laughs> so have you ever felt that? Have you ever felt that in the past? Yung pupunta ka dito, kasi kailangan mo lang pumunta. Kasi pag hindi ka pumunta, nakakahiya. Kasi pag hindi ka nag-lead, baka kung ano isipin nila. Have you ever experienced that? Ismail nila ang ayaw. Ismail nila. Pag oo. And we thought, loving hurts. Parang, saan ko matanan? So, we thought na Ministry is all about doing. That's the problem of Ephesus. And the definition in the ministry is doing, behaving, working, laboring. Right? Kaya pag na-exhaust na siya, sa sasabihin niya, gusto ko muna magpahing na anong tingin ng mga leaders. Backslide. Pero totoo lang, matagal ng backslide. Kasi wala na yung love. Bakit na wala yung love? Kasi napagod. Bakit napagod? Kasi he does not do it out of love. At nakukuha natin. Kahit anong dali, as simple ng isang bagay, pag hindi mo ginagawa based on love, madali kang mapagod. And that's real. And that's true. Pero pag mahal mo ang isang bagay, kahit gaano ka layo, kahit gaano ka hirap, kahit gaano ka mahal, you enjoy doing that. Kaya siya effortless. 
na ako pahanapin. Pag sinabi kayo, effort of sinita, dahil wala kang ginagawa, dahil gusto mo yung ginagawa ko. That's why it's effortless. Napapagod ang maraming pastor, maraming leaders, because they do a lot of things not based on that. Are we getting the point? And that's the Church of Ephesians. The Church of Ephesus, the Ephesians. Ephesian believers. And you have left your first love. Alam niyo yata yung unang, yung unang pinrit sa akin to, parang talagang sabi ko po nga, hindi ko na lang. Lord, Lord, mula ngayon! Mula ngayon! Mula ngayon! Hindi na ako malilate sa church. Mula ngayon! Mula ngayon! But sometimes, it still happens. Tapos pag nagagawa mo na siya, consistent ka na naginagawa ng two months, tapos sa mag-blay ka ng isang beses, condemn. Have you ever felt that? Parang yung pinagtaguran mo ng tatlong buwan kasi sa mag-blay ka ng isang beses, sayang lahat. Kasi you, you, you thought it's all about, this verse is all about you loving God. But it's not. Tuloy natin. Ang sabi niya, the word first love, sabi natin lahat first love, sino sa inyo may first love? Yes, first love. Sino sa inyo may second? <laughs> first love. The word first love, nagaling niya sa salitang uh, protos and the faith. Protos and the faith. Ang protos, ang ibig sabihin niya, yung word of first, protos, first, primary, or most important. Yung word of love, nagaling niya sa word na the power. God's love, divine or unconditional love. Apat na love ang nasa Greek. Agape, Phileo, Eros, at Estorge. Yung agape, pag-ibig ng Diyos. Hindi kaya ibigay ng tao yan. Phileo, brotherly love. Ito yung pagmamahal mo sa kakwa mo. Eros, ito yung pagmamahal mo sa asawa mo. Sa anak mo, erotic. Ito ang galing word na salitan. Ah, hindi sa anak. Sa asawa mo. That's why, Eros, erotic. Then the storge, ito yung pagmamahal sa mga binabae. Storge, storge. Ito yung pagmamahal. Okay, hindi pa sila yan, amen. Hindi. Muntik na. Parang dati, may isang pwesto na boss na condemn na condemn ako, sabi niya. Ilan sa inyo yung muntik na mag-pray kanila? Yung magpe-pray ka na, tapos hindi mo pa tinuloy. Ilan sa inyo yung sabi mo, babasa ka ng Bible, tapos yung bubusa mo na yung Bible, tinamad gaya ng toka, hindi mo na sa muntik ka na magbasa ng Bible. Sabi niya, alam niyo kayong mga muntik na kristyano? Ang blessing ni Lord sa inyo, muntik din. Nakainis. Blessing ni Lord, muntik-muntik ka lang daw. So the point of the matter is, you feel condemned. But the word, first love is primary, most important love of God. Question. Kung ayan ang meaning ng first love, pag-ibig mo ba ang tinutubay dyan? Ano? Hindi. Define natin. Define natin. The most important love, the divine and unconditional love of God. So, ang nangyari sa episodes ito, they work, they labor, they have patience, but they forgot the most important. It's not about their love but about the love of God Amen. in their lives. Ang naging katuruan sa Church of Ephesus, gawin mo to, gawin mo yan. Tapusin mo to, tapusin mo yan. Huwag mong gawin to, huwag mong gawin yan. And they forgot that Christianity is not about doing. Christianity is all about love. Right? Tuloy natin. Bigyan ko ng sample. Uh, huwag na natin usahin yan. Uh, may, mga, may mga verses yun na hindi ko na, eh, ano, may mga particular yun na hindi ko na bibigyan ng pansin. For example, yung, yung mga, yung mga candlestick. Uh, siguro siya separate na lang natin yan. It's powerful but it's long. Ayun yung pagiging problema natin. For example, 1 Corinthians 13, 1-8. Ang sabi yan, Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, but have not long, I have become sounding brass or a clanging cymbal. May nagtanong sa akin kasi uh, laki akong baptist. In other words, conservative kasi ako. Obvious ba? Yes. Parang ayaw maniwala din pero gano'n. Uh, conservative talaga ako. Mukha, mukha lang hindi. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up in a baptist camp or a school of thought. 
So, I don't, I don't really adhere so much to mga tasks dati, uh, yung mga ganito ganyan. Uh, of course, until I came to the point na I went, I went, I think I went to Seattle, then one of my friends introduced me, then I, I felt uh, the, the move of spirit, things like that. But I don't say na, na pag hindi ka nag-tanks, hindi ka feel. May nagtanong nga sa akin eh, ah, bakit pag nag-tanks pag, 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 ka ba? Uh, sa so, Bible ba biblical ang tanks? May nagtanong sa akin. Dapat ba lahat ng, ng believers at the tanks? Ang sagot ko, oo naman, kasi subukan mo magsalita na hindi mo pinagamit yung tao. <laughs> Ewan ko lang kung hindi ka biblical o biblical ka. <laughs> no. The point is, it doesn't matter eh. That's the second guy. May nag-uusapan dito, sabi ni Paul, right? You can speak the tongues of angel or tongues of men, pero without love, ihingay ka lang. Sabi sa verse 2, And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, kahit anong talino mo, kahit anong smart mo, and though I have all faith, ang grabe kang maniwala, so that I could remove mountains, but have not love, sabi niya, I have nothing. Tuloy na rin. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the four, and though I give my body to be burned but have not love, it profits me nothing. Love suffers long, and it's kind. Love does not envy. Iniisip ko dati, kala mo kasi itong teaching na to na lagi natin naririnig about your love. Dapat, pag nagtatangs ka pero hindi ka marunong magmahal, kala ko, kala ko gano'n. Kaya lang didefine kasi eh, love suffers long. Didefine ko, pag-ibig ko ba yung tinutukoy dito? Eh, sito mo lang na ni Paul, didefine niya, love suffers long and is kind. Inisip ko, love ko ba yan? Sipin niya kung love niya yan. Uh, love does not envy. Ang dali lang. Parang naiingit din ako minsan. Love does not parade itself. Love is not proud. Yun lang. Baksa. It's not papa, lalo na. Does not behave rudely. Time. Kita talaga ako yan. <laughs> Does not seek its own. Sino ba hindi selfish? Hello? Sino sa inyo yung pumunta ng mall? Tuwing pupunta kayo ng mall ang iniisip nyo iba. Hindi posible. <laughs> diba? Sino sa inyo yung pumunta ng restaurant at iniisip mo yung gustong kainin ng kasama mo? Siguro minsan. Pero madalas hindi. It's not provoke things, no evil. Sino sa inyo na sasabi, tinutukoy niya yung love mo? Wala ako, no? Does not rejoice in iniquity. O, pwede, pwede. But rejoices in the truth, pwede rin. Bear all things. Yun lang. Believes all things. Patay. Hopes all things. Pwede. Pwede, no? Endures all things. So, pwede, pwede. Sabi ko, ba, parang love ko tinutukoy dito. Eh. Parang hindi yung love ni Lord. Eh. Kaya na pagdating ng sumunod na verse, patay na. Love never fails. Yun, si Lord talaga yan. Yes. Hindi talaga ako yan. Yes. Nakukuha natin? Yes. But whether there are prophecies, they will fail. Whether there are times, they will cease. Whether there is knowledge, it will vanish away. Come on, let's, let's read that in other translation. So you can give kasi if you do not love. So ang, ang interpretation natin, ikaw yung nagmamahal. Pero it should be read this way. It should be read this way. If I speak in the tongues of men or of angels, but do not have. Sabi natin lahat, have. So it's not, it's not. Sabi nga, sabi nga. Papa, I might. Sabi nga, love. So, if, if, if do not have love. So, hindi siya sabi dyan na hindi siya, ano ba, hindi siya commanding. In other words, na, na pag nasalagta ka ng Diyos, pero hindi ka nagmamahal. Hindi ka nun eh. Ang sabi dyan, if I speak in the tongues of men or of angels, but do not have, do not have agape. Ano yung agape? Love of God. I am, I am only resounding go for a clanging sin about. Verse 2, sabi dyan, if I have the gift of prophecy and can pack up all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains, but do not have agape, do not have the love of God, I am not. 
If I give all I possess to the poor, and I give over my body to hardship that I may boast, but do not have the love of God, I feel that. Uh, sabi niya sa 1 John 4, 9, Indeed, the love of God was manifested toward us, that God has sent His only begotten Son into the world that, he, that we might live through Him. I want to continue on that. Masyado uh, na tayo mo tagal. But the Church of Ephesus is something that really inspires me so much. On the other side. You can do a lot of things. You can have a lot of programs. You can have a lot of activities. But if you do not understand agape, if you don't preach agape, if you don't talk about the love of God, you gain nothing. Yes. Why? Because the love of God is everything. Amen. Ituloy lang natin ang sandali. Sandali lang natin. I just, I just want to show you something. It is love that, that, that not that we love God, but did you find the John kung ano ang ibig sabihin ng love, ha? Yes. Ang sabi niya, and this is love. Parang sinasabi niya, ito ang pag-ibig. Hindi yung nagmamahal ka. Yes. So, di na itindihan mo na minahal at mahal ka na Diyos. Amen. Amen. That's love. We love us and send it to be the propitiation of our sins. Are we getting the point? Yes. The first thing a church should really receive as her identity is not to work hard. Yes. But you understand how much God loves you. Yeah. 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 At pag alo niyo, pag may pag-ibig, you simply basically already have everything. Yes. Uh, there's a word called Kenosis Theory that I'm going to pass around and say it to you. Kenosis Theory, Jesus emptied himself. But he only had one thing, right? And do you know, pwedeng wala ka ng lahat, pero pag meron ang pag-ibig ng Diyos, which is a matter of time, magkakaroon ka ng lahat. Yes. Amen. Kasi pag mahal mo ginagawa mo, siguro ka magiging successful. Na. Amen. Ganun na kasi. Kung meron ka lahat, pero wala kang pag-ibig, tinatamad ka, na-exhaust ka, napapagod ka agad, lahat ng meron ka makawala. Yes. That's why love is very important. Yes. Nakapuha natin. Amen. Amen. <laughs> no, no, but but uh, I will leave you that way. The, the point is, everything is based on the love of God. Yes. Lahat dapat ng ginagawa natin sa church. Gabitin ko na yung salitang dapat. Ha? But whether you are in a worship team, a cell group, or whatever, or doing business, in everything you do, just, just it must be based on yes. the love. And I tell you, it's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time. You bless the Lord overflowing. Okay. Praise God. Amen. Seven minutes. Okay. 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 And, and continue, let's minister to one another as uh, Dabi nga, uh, siya yung una nagmahal sa atin kaya kaya natin magmahal ng iba. So, come on to speak blessing. You know, speak blessing to our brethren. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus.